We are going into the metabolic switch. Um, I've had a lot going on with my body for the last couple days and I need to go on a low blood sugar protocol. So I'm jumping into an extended fast right now, um, mainly to help my mental health. But let's be fair, my mental health is triggered by external circumstances. It's situational right now and it's not really coming from within. But the real reason is to get my body back into a fat burning state. I am gonna do keto for the next three weeks. That week before my cycle, I'm not gonna do keto. But I'm going to do a bodybuilder keto diet. I need to start dropping pounds again um, for the sake of my knees. I need to get back into the metabolic switch. So the way I like to introduce myself to keto, the fastest way to get into ketosis is through fasting. Doing it through eating food will take a while, but um, it's much faster with fasting. So I don't know how long this fast will be, but as you guys saw, I made my electrolyte drink. I've got cayenne pepper in here, apple cider vinegar, and two squeezed lemons. This is filled with water and I threw in one pack of Element. Now I did order Element today. It should be coming on via Amazon very quickly. And speaking of which, I just opened up an Amazon store so you guys will know exactly what Element to get for fasting and for OMAD fasting, of course. So I am now gonna go to Shoppers and get a blood glucose monitor. So we're gonna be doing that again because um, it's gonna give me more info and make me more aware of my glucose spikes. The last time I wore it, it wasn't too bad, but now that I'm gonna put myself in ketosis, I really wanna watch how my blood sugar responds and then when I get off. So this blood glucose monitor will last me 14 days. I might have to get another one because I wanna do it for a full month. So I'm gonna head to Shoppers, get my blood glucose monitor, and then I'm gonna go to other stores and get what I need for fasting, like sparkling water, lemon juice, etc. So let's go. I honestly wish people knew how to park better. Like, honestly. You're over the line, and I don't wanna hit your car. I actually had that happen to me at the gym once. Apparently it was a fitness trainer who worked at Good Life. Um, I complained, but they said at the time, oh, we had none of our female trainers in today. I know exactly who it was. And she like threatened me. She's like, I work here. And I'm like, literally you parked over the line. Listen, I, I always remember when people are complete douchebags, but <laughs> learn how to park. Okay. Learn how to park. She freaking threatened me. I'm like, bitch. I'm from Toronto. You can't do that shit. Think I'm afraid of these people? Nope. Anyway, I'm at Shoppers now, and I'm gonna go to the pharmacy and get it. All right, got my Freestyle Libre. Um, apparently, people ask me this all the time. They're like, do you need a prescription to get this? No, I just buy it behind the pharmacy. It's literally behind the pharmacist, and they don't really ask any questions. So this cost me a hundred bucks. And this will be attached to my body so yeah we're gonna use the cgm again i will link uh other cgms on the amazon store but i like freestyle libre because it's used for people who have diabetes whether it be type 1 or type 2 so i've always used them because i couldn't get my hands on a keto mojo when i wanted to actually test my blood ketone levels i also have another freestyle libre the one that will test my ketones so we're gonna do that all once I get home, but I have to go pick up some stuff at Safeway. Mainly, I'm hoping they have the Glow Schleiner water. I want to get some cinnamon. Why don't we show my face? I want to get some cinnamon and cinnamon tea. And um, yeah, we'll go from there as I try to get this all this hair out of the way. <laughs> Thank you. 
pack my bag here and share with you what I got. Obviously the Freestyle Libre, you guys know about that. My blood glucose monitor, continuous blood glucose monitor. Got some can ashes. And unfortunately there weren't any gold shiners in there, so I do like those. It just makes me feel like content. But I've taken enough electrolytes. I got a cold tea. So you can get flavored teas, it's fine. Um, as long as it says zero calories. And as you can see, that is a zero calorie tea. Um, but it's a cold tea, so I'm switching things up. It's watermelon mint flavor. I actually love those. And those are pretty good to have, not even when you're not fasting. Got some combojesic, that's a pain med, that's ionyl, sorry, Tylenol and Advil combined. It really helps for people who have moderate to severe pain, moderate pain it says, but this is all I take for my pain. I don't want to take anything stronger because, you know, what they're going to prescribe me is not good. I got this apple cinnamon tea, as you can see there. How neat is that? That's going to help with crushing my hunger. And I got some lemons here, just ooh, three lemons. And I got a box of Lacro, natural sparkling water. Um, yes, you can have sparkling water with flavor in it, as long as it's natural flavors. Um, this is just carbonated water and natural essence, which has no calories in it. So yeah, um, as long as this is zero calories, you're fine. And as long as it doesn't have any artificial sweeteners, you're fine. This has no artificial sweeteners. Yeah, it says zero calories, zero sweetener, zero sodium. Would have been nice if there was some sodium in there, but um, this shall do. I'm going to consume this while I fast. All right, so I am going to open up my Freestyle Libre 2. This is my continuous blood glucose monitor. So in order to use this sucker, you need to make sure that you have the app downloaded. Now, since I've done this before, I already have the Freestyle Libre app. It's telling me to connect to a new sensor. Apply a new sensor. The, the sensor should only be applied at the back of your arm. That's my mistake. Last time I did it like this, because if you put it on the side, you're gonna be bumping it into things and you might risk snagging it and <laughs> um, it literally coming off. So that didn't happen to me luckily, but I, you know, I bumped it a few times. So opening up the box comes like this, just peel it off. So here's the sensor. It is fully in there. It is um, sanitized, safe, so you're not gonna be, you know, contaminating yourself with microbiomes. And this, oh no, this is the sensor. I forget. And this is the applicator for the sensor. So I'm gonna make sure I read the rules properly. So it comes with two alcohol swaps. So you wanna make sure you have, like I washed my hands before I did this so my hands are clean. I am gonna swab the area that I want to apply the sensor. And this time we're gonna do it at the back of my arm. I did it at the side, as I mentioned earlier. So I'm gonna apply it like here. So I'm gonna clean that area right in there <laughs> as I drop that on the floor make sure that's nice and clean then I'm gonna read the instructions so I don't screw this up instructions are paper here so yes you swab the area you pull so this contains the sensor yeah this is the actual sensor it is in here so I was correct Peel that back, and then you don't touch it. And then you grab the applicator, which is this thing, and you open it up. So you kind of twist it open like this. Ooh. Yep, and you pull it up. Yep, just so twist, rotate it up as you can see and then you're going to line it up with the sensor so you are going to basically line up this front here so that front as you can see how it has that opening with the front or the line on here at the bottom if you can see that line so you're gonna line that up and you have to do this on a hard surface so 
I'm gonna make sure I do that on a hard surface, which is right in front of me. So they're lined up, press it down on a hard surface, <sighs> sensors in there, pull it up. Now the sensor is ready to go and it doesn't hurt, you just apply it to your arm. So here we go, you press it down. So we're gonna apply it to the back of the arm this time. Right about there. Doesn't hurt at all. And I have a new blood glucose sensor. As you can see, with all of my extra boob and back fat, this is what it is. Travis Kelsey. He's an asshole. <laughs> I don't like him at all. Anyway, because <laughs> I've got nacho boobage. But anyway, so now I'm going to connect the sensor to the app. And we're gonna scan the new sensor, just like that. And it should show up. Scan new sensor. Yep, and then it says, you press scan new sensor, it says ready to scan, you hold your phone up to it. I don't know if I'm lining it up. I'm gonna have to look at the camera here. Ready to scan. Hold the top of your phone near the device. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I placed it, there we go. I placed it in a very odd area. So I'm gonna have to <laughs> go like this. Okay, so now the sensor will be ready at 12.09 p.m. Right now it's 11.09, so it takes 60 minutes, I guess, for the sensor to start collecting data on my blood glucose. So there you have it. It doesn't hurt at all to apply it and it doesn't hurt at all for it to come off, so. And there it is, connected on me like that at the back of my arm much better placement than what I did last time. Anyway, I'm gonna go have some tea with my neighbor. So my blood sugar was doing weird things um, where I left you guys off yesterday, but I didn't get a chance to film, but here I am finishing off quote unquote day one. I did take some pictures, so we're gonna be comparing everything. And then I will reveal my entire like weight loss journey since the beginning of this year. Um, we'll get to that, but my, I'm wearing the blood glucose monitor and I have some notes here. So this morning at 7.51 a.m., my blood glucose level was pretty high, high for me. Um, I'm gonna go look at the log book here. Yes, um, so at 7.51 a.m. actually, it was pretty normal, let me show you. So um, you can see there, hopefully this is showing up properly. It was pretty like, Five is pretty high. I like to have a fasted blood glucose level under five. I will put the deciliters per, or the other unit, the American unit on the side here. And I don't like that. I noticed like the last time I fasted, my blood glucose levels hit the three range. But um, I've been eating carbs and I have not been doing OMAD. But at 5 a.m. it was at five, or at 7.51 a.m. was at five. And then at 9.50 a.m., it was at 6.6, .6 and I just got up and started mopping and cleaning. But before that, I believe I was sitting in bed, and it went to 6 millimoles per liter. And I literally said in my note that I haven't moved from my bed, and the blood sugar is spiking. This is not a good sign. 34 hours and 12 minutes into my fast. That means I have tons of stored sugar. So obviously, and I feel great fasting right now, so I'm obviously going to continue on with this fast. And then here is my most recent blood sugar reading that I made a note on. After standing up and showering and putting on makeup, I still haven't had any water or drank any electrolytes. My blood sugar spiked to 7.2. Now, right now, I'm at 5.9 and I'm going to go on a walk with Bo. So I want to show you guys my logbook from months ago when I first did this. So look at this. This was January 1st. Um, you see that? I was going down to 3.5. Like when I'm in that range, like this, like fasting, I lost like 13 pounds. I lost a lot of weight. And the blood sugar levels kept going in the threes. Like there was a spike there. I have a note. Oh, finished workout. <laughs> finished workout. Just came out of the sauna. Blood sugar spiked. Haven't eaten today. Yeah, so I was fasting and the blood sugar spiked right after I came out of the sauna. So it's kind of interesting to see. But this is my logbook for January, as you can see there. A lot of spiking going up and down there. I believe I was just wearing this normally. I don't think I did the fast with this one. But um, 
yeah, I just want to share with you guys this. I'll go into this in more detail in another video, but um, look at that. See, there's a spike there. I have a note there. I don't know what that note says. I wish I can click it, but these are the spikes. We don't want to be seeing this. We want to graph. Like, these spikes are not bad. Like, some people have really bad spikes. Um, When you get above, above eight, you're going into diabetes ranges, but, like, my most, like, to be fair... My most recent blood sugar um, pattern was consistent. They say they don't have enough data, but let's just go to the logbook. I'm still learning how to use this. Let's just go to yesterday. So that's my chart yesterday. Like it's been in the fives, but you can see that that's like a pretty, I would say that's a pretty flat curve. If I'm wrong and there's someone who knows who's well versed in this, please correct me but that is a pretty flat curve i just don't like how the per curve is hovering in the five my average glucose level is in the fives i rather it be in the fours because that means i have better metabolic health and it used to be in the fours but mind you i have been um you know uh, eating carbs and stuff so let's go to the daily home i'm just gonna go to some more patterns here so that's today. We're getting all sorts of weird spikes, but but yeah, I'm not worried. It's just I like my blood sugar lower, especially considering I haven't eaten since Friday and it's now Sunday, but it's okay. Um, that's why I'm going back on keto, guys, because one of the main reasons why I'm going back on keto, my weight has stayed the same, but I've been body composition like crazy. That was the goal. That's what Marcella has me doing. Um, my body has changed so much and my weight has been the same. But because of what's going on with my knees, um, I flared it up doing an exercise incorrectly, doing zurcher squats incorrectly and um, landmine, uh, R not RDLs. The RDLs are fine. RDLs and sumos are pretty fine for me. It was just... Oh, the plate elevated zercher, zercher squats. I can't have a plate on my front foot. It needs to be on my heel. When it's on my heel, it forces my butt to activate. Uh, like when it's on the front foot, it puts too much pressure on my knee. So that's what screwed me up. And I've been getting discouraged because I had a phone call with the doctor, which is why I'm being proactive. I was very depressed for like the last couple of weeks. Just a lot of things going on in my life. Um, but, you know, I'm... I woke up yesterday with a renewed spirit. So yeah, and this fast is really helping calm down my mental health. So I feel like pretty good. My mood feels very stable. Why? Because at 36 hours, you get the neurotransmitter GABA being produced. And GABA is the neurotransmitter that's related to calmness. So we'll see how long we take this fast for. I want to do, I'm aiming for a three-day fast, to be honest. Like that's my goal is to do a three-day fast. But we shall find out if I do it. Well, hello. This is 62 Hour Fasting Daniela here. Yes, 62 hours. And this is literally the easiest three-day fast I've ever done except for day one. Let's talk about day one. Day one is always the hardest day. So with day one, I had, after hanging out with my friend, I had a monstrous concussion migraine. When you fast and when you are injured, basically what happens, like if you have like some kind of nagging injury, you'll start to feel pain in that nagging injury. Well, I have multiple nagging injuries. I've got a whole bunch of injuries in my head. I don't even know what causes my headaches, but I had a brutal headache like in my face and all here and I was exhausted and I was tired. And that's when I knew that I had to keep on going. So I had a headache. I took a combo Gizek, but it wasn't enough. So I ended up sleeping all day. I was telling my friend that I'm like, I'm tired. She's like, that's a good thing. Being tired means you're healing. And I have this thing where I don't like to sleep because I feel like I'm lazy. I'm not being productive. But my psychologist is like, you need to sleep. If your body demands you to sleep after you slept, it's fine. So I just literally slept all day. I got in like a good amount of rest and the next day I feel much better no headaches or anything now for anyone who doesn't have a concussion or suffering from a car accident you'll get a headache day one but after that you know take an Advil and a Tylenol and you're good to go next day that was just Marcella texting me next day which is why I love her as a coach next day I was good I was good 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 so you'll see the days play out this is day one 
I will be editing day two shortly after this. And right now I'm on day three of a fast. Whoever thought? Because literally after the car accident, it was difficult for me to go past 48 hours because I would just get migraines and migraines. I'm now at 62 hours and I only had that one day of a migraine. So I'm so proud of myself. I really want to get with the fasting to help heal my body. Right now, we're helping to bring down inflammation in my knees and we're using this fast to jump into ketosis. Speaking of which, if you made it this far into the video, just drop in the word ketosis because that's why I'm doing this fast, ketosis. And I'm so happy that Marcella got me some bodybuilding keto macros. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.